Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Bulldog Show. I'm Darrell Allen, along with Thomasville High School head football coach. Jonathan DeLay, Dawes, coming off a big playoff win, first round over Jackson, 42-21. to Last Saturday night, coach had a goal of going 1-0, being playing this week. We made that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the goal. You know, when you get to this time of year, and, and I know I say it every week, but it, it's, it's huge, you know, be 1-0. And, and I don't care if it's by 1, 21, 2, whatever. We get a win, we get another week practice, another game. All right, coach. Obviously, a tight ball game, first half, 14 to 13. Uh, uh, Jackson really played well. Yeah, they did, you know, and we knew they had good players, and they came out, and they they played well. And, you know, people asked me this week, you know, Coach, what what uh, adjustments did you make at halftime? What changes? And, and there really was nothing. Uh, I wrote a couple things on the board. One was our standard. We got to do right and dictate to the opponent. We weren't doing that in the first half. Uh, strike, that was one of our words last week. I didn't feel like we, we – went out there and, and just struck the opponent uh, in the first half. And then the last thing I wrote, and this is one of our things that, that we talk about all the time is the run. There were times in between series I didn't feel like we were running. Now, you know, we got in there at halftime. I went through those things with the kids, and they came out and played really well in the second half. You want to talk about a complete change. And that's the thing, you know, I'm, I'm super glad there's no more open dates. I like them. You get healthy, but you, you get out of that rhythm a little bit. And once we got back in that rhythm, it was it was uh, a big night for us. All right, Coach, 213 yards rushing on the night, uh, Saturday night. Jay Randall, 22 carries, 115 yards, two TDs. Levante Cole, 19 carries, 80 yards, and two TDs. Nice to be able to run the ball. Yeah, I mean, our offensive line is playing phenomenal right now. Um, and it starts like Showcat was talking about on the show last week about communication. And that's what's going to be big this week, too, is they talk to each other. They say, you know, this is where we're going. This is how we're working our combos. And really in the first half, you know, there were a couple times where we're working our combos and we maybe slid off or the back didn't hit it in the right spot. But in the second half, the, the combos and the backs where they were running, uh, they did a great job. And, you know, uh, it, was, it was a big night for right. us running the ball. Right, Coach. And Cole, Cole, Cole Shaw, Cole had eight catches for 165 yards, two touchdowns, 80-yard run, 80-yard run on a catch that was phenomenal. Yeah, you know, we, we had just gone down 14-7 to seven right there. You know, they're, they're big wide out. He took one on a fast screen a long way. And then, uh, you know, we get the ball in the 20 and we flip it out to Cole. We had a run call. We flip it out to Cole. And Logan Hacka provides a great block out there. Cole stiff arms the corner and then his foot race, and he won it. You know, and that's the thing. Uh, you know, people ask me all the time, well, how fast is Cole? How fast? Well, Cole's fast, mm -hmm. you know, 40 time, whatever, but Cole's fast and he can run and he showed that Friday night and, and he, you know, he caught another ball over, over a guy and, uh, you know, that yeah, was huge second for us. Might have been, it might have been a better catch. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he had to go up and over. We had to throw it a little bit, but I always tell mm -hmm. Cam, you know, when you're throwing it to Cole, give him a chance to go get it. And that's what he did. And he went and got it. Uh, we had a couple drops in the first half, and, you know, uncharacteristically, DJ dropped a couple balls. I told him at halftime, I said, listen to me, we're coming back to you because we know you're going to catch the ball make a play. And actually on the first play of the second half, yep. we had another run called, flipped it out to DJ. He gets like a seven, eight-yard gain, gets us ahead of the chains and got us started because we were down 14 to 13, got that drive started. We went and scored. He caught another fast screen later. Uh, and, and that's the thing that with the guys, you know, understanding what your role is on any given night. Cole was having a big night. The running backs were having a big night. But DJ had to make a couple of catches in some big spots. I'll tell you what DJ did. Uh, if you, You'll see it here on the clips in a minute. There are times when he has big blocks on the perimeter to spring guys. And not only is he doing that, he's playing defense too. So when you look at those things, those don't show up in the stats, but it, it shows up on the film. And that's, that's what being one of those is all about. All right, Coach, over on defense, a lot of guys who, uh, who, who made plays. Bradshaw, leading tackler with 11, 11, 11 tackles. But, again, a lot of people getting to the ball, especially in the second half. We really oh, begin to swarm a little bit more. Man, the second half with that pack mentality was coming out. We're getting all them red hats to the ball and, you know, really gave them nothing. I went in at halftime. You know, we missed the extra point. Happens. Uh, you know, you can, get in a, you can get in a moment where you start chasing points and stuff. I told them at halftime, I said, listen, we're going down this first drive, and if we score, we're kicking the extra point because they're not getting back in the end zone tonight. I got that much confidence in the defense. And, you know, we score that touchdown. Uh, we go out there to kick the extra point. Well, they jump offside. So now we've got an opportunity to go ahead and take the two points. We're a little closer, and we did. Uh, but, you know, the defense, we, get, we go from down 14 to 7 to up. 35 to 14. So the defense has got to get stops there and offense is going and scoring. 
All right, Coach. And Andrew Bennett again on special team. We needed him Saturday night, and he came through. Man, he had a 56-yard punt and a 50-yard punt. Uh, gets one down there on the one-yard line. So, it, you know, he's a, he's a weapon. Said that all year. He's a weapon. You know, his job is catch that thing, get it kicked. Uh, we did a pretty good job protecting him, and we're getting down the field covering where they can't return the football, but that's because he's kicking it so high and so far. And boy, when you when you got a tight ball game going like we had there in the first half, that's a big, big weapon. Yeah, that was huge. You know, we had the ball with two minutes left. We tried to run a little two-minute offense, had to punt, and he puts the ball down at the one-yard line where they don't have an opportunity to go score. Because I think there was something like 55 seconds maybe mm -hmm. when they got the ball. Uh, we were trying to get a safety right there. But, uh, that you know, he's a weapon. And, and the other thing, Friday night, you know, they score to make it 35-21 there in the fourth quarter, five minutes and something left. They got all three timeouts. Messiah, an unbelievable return. We get a penalty on top of it. But here's the thing. Five minutes, 45 seconds, they got all three timeouts. We're going to run the football. They know we're going to run the football. And we're trying to milk the clock in our four-minute O. And we go right down the field methodically, run, 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 and punch the ball in under two minutes. That's one of those drives that tells you about the character of your team. We, you know, our, our guys are, we don't care that you know that we're going to run it. We're going to run it right there, and we're going to have a lot of confidence in it. We had a fourth and four right there that Jay Randall picked up, and you'll see it on the clips in a minute. That whole left side just caves in, and I could have got two or three yards. <laughs> uh, and that's what, that's what, really to me was special about the game is we did what we had to do to not just go win to, but to put the team away that's something we weren't doing early in the year was putting them away all right coach well let's let's get into the highlights of, of saturday saturday night and and uh, of course again weather great football weather. oh my gosh great football weather playoff atmosphere you know i love our fans playoff game at the vet is unlike anything else and we need you again uh this friday night eight back to eight o'clock friday o night tradition <laughs> uh, so we're excited about that. There's DJ Thurman right there. He made that play. You know, he didn't make the tackle, but he made the guy go inside to the other three tacklers. There's – looks like uh, Del Triaz, Bradshaw again. Del Triaz, play, again, played a great game. Right here, we got Jaden sitting right under the, the out right there. We about get it. <clears throat> and then, you know, pump return. We didn't block any, but I felt like we affected some kicks. All right. Uh, getting guys back in there, spooking the punter just a little bit. And then right here, first drive, you know, we, we got some ninth graders being ninth graders. Uh, you know, Cam dropped snap right there. That happens. Uh, Leland Chapman, he had a good night, had a solid night running the football. I feel, I feel comfortable with our running backs. we got a bunch of guys we could put back there. You know, this first drive, it, it, we went three and out, didn't really go our way. Um, and we come out in the second drive, and I said, look, we're going right back to that same script that we started with. We're going to reset refocus and go right here uh you know they get the ball they start driving down the field driving down the field defense gets a fourth down stop here in a moment there's hats to the ball but i want to knock him backwards i want to knock him backwards <clears throat> they do a good job i thought jackson did a really good job with their rpo game we knew that was a, the case coming into it right here we get a fourth down stop then offense we're right back to the races there's cam hinton dj uh, in a little window. That was a window we knew that we could get to. And then here comes Jay again. There comes DJ Thurman. There's DJ blocking on the perimeter, puts the guy on the ground. You know, we get in striking distance in the red zone right here. Jay, another solid run. You know, those are four or five yard runs. Those are things that uh, they're not explosive plays, but they're big plays. And then Brant Herndon with a great block to turn his guy. Masai Wilson blocking on the perimeter. We get a face mask, get it inside, and then Levante punches it in right here in our uh, dog package. Come in, make the extra point, seven to nothing. Love getting on top first. Yeah, the, you know, <laughs> that that's the key is, is you know, get out to a good start. Uh, they, struggled, they struggled with kickoffs all night. Coach. They did, they did. They struggled catching the ball. We had one where we got out of, uh, got out of our lane just a little bit and they had a big return coming out there. Uh, there first with the second. There's DJ Thurman again, just making a play over there, taking on the blocker, making the tackle. Same thing. There he is again, right there. They're they're a little confused. Man, we about got that one. Hack about got that one, and you know it's a short kick. And this is one too. You know we didn't capitalize 
on this opportunity, you know, we got the ball inside the, you know, inside the 40 right there to start a drive, and we don't, we just don't capitalize. They hit well, us. We had that a couple move. times in the first yeah. half, you know. And you just you just felt like, man, this, this is not us. It's not our standard. And right here, uh, you know, the quarterback pulls it, and he scores a touchdown. I mean, they did a good job with their fake, and you know, just frustrating to see to see that we're not we weren't running around and weren't striking like like we normally do. But here, here's the thing, you know, football's like that sometimes. You know, that that happens. What I like to see is how our kids handled the adversity, because you're down at halftime. And that was kind of like the epitome of our season. We were down early in the year, and then we come back, and uh, we've come back and gone on this run, and, and that's what showed in the game. It's a great play right there. Again, DJ Thurman, you know, a big stat night, not really, but the guy made plays. There's, some, there's Cole blocking on the perimeter again. Here comes Jay again in our Wildcat package. Two, three, four yards. <clears throat> they come back. Right here, we, big plays. There's Jay right there making a play, knocking that ball out. I know they called it touchdown first, but it wasn't. Then they missed the field goal. We almost blocked it right there. Bogan coming off the edge. <clears throat> and then once again, here we go. Andrew hits a punt. Doesn't look like his best punt. It actually turns into a 50-yarder. <laughs> that thing just took off when it hit the ground. Had enough hook on it to keep it in play. And then it took off with the field. Then right here, we just get – you know, we take just a – it's a game of inches. And, you know, one inch to the right, Beck makes that play right there. Guy goes and scores a touchdown. But how are you going to respond? And, you know, it's 14-7. to seven. They kick off. You know, it doesn't go out of bounds. Messiah ends up having to field it. He gets it up to the 20. And then, you know, what are you going to do? What's the response? Well, we flip it out to Cole. He makes one miss. And then it's a foot race. And two's the one that just scored the touchdown for them. He had the angle. And Cole outruns it. And he, too, can run. Two can fly. Uh -huh. and we saw that just on the play before. And then, you know, we missed the extra point right here. But we go right back down. We kick it off to him. Belvin kicks it in zone. He might have been a little upset that he missed that extra point. Got a little bit extra into it. Uh, and here we go, third quarter, opening kickoff. <clears throat> they kick it off, goes out of the end zone. So right now we've got to go 80 yards. Down by one. Down by one. First play. DJ had a couple drops. We throw it right to him. Hacker gets on him. We got a seven yard gain right there. And then here we go. There goes Jay. <clears throat> it's a good run there on second down. Gets us a first down. You know, it's about patient runs. There's DJ Thurman again with a block to spring him to get four, five, six yards. Then we come back, double move Cole. <clears throat> Felt like we could get that double move as long as he went back to the outside. And that was a big play for us on that drive. Come right back. There's DJ again. You got Cole Shaw blocking for him out there. He makes a guy miss. Again, these are little throws that that are just like runs for us. And he makes and and it makes the drive stay on schedule. And when it stays on schedule, then you've got good things happen. Now, right here, we had a block in the back that knocked us back a big chunk of yards. But then we got a few penalties right here uh, out of these guys. And it was able to put us back ahead of the sticks. That's a great cut by Jay Randall and a great block by Elijah Bavard on the second level. And then here we go. There goes Jay punching it in the end zone. Again, though, another hole that, you know, I probably could have got a yard or two through. And that just says a lot about our guys up front and our guy, our running backs and tight ends blocking in front of them. Get the penalty on the extra point, Coach, and go for two there. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I hadn't planned on going for two, but they, they jumped offside, so we were able to uh, we were able to go for two. Daniel Belvin with a great tackle right there. You know, we had a, one guy just miss, and then uh, there might have been a hold or something on there. I don't know. Uh, it wasn't called, so probably wasn't. But we made the play, and then, again, defense gets a stop. Right here, you know, I thought, man, he just tipped that up. We might have might have had a chance at a pick six. And then Beck Nicholson, I mean, you can't say enough about him. A bunch of fair catches. He did have a, a long return of 26, uh, that just yards that he's saving. There they are again with the boot, making throw it away. This is the second drive by the defense, you know, and it was just relentless. I mean, we were just relentless. We weren't giving them anything. They didn't have any of the creases that they had in the first half. Here goes Beck, backs up to the 11. I mean, he's got to make two guys miss right there, and he does. 
Great job by Malik Duncan not to hit anybody in the back right there. That was huge. And then here we go again. We got another drive. And it's and and again, it's the three and four and five yard gains that, you know, it's not big explosive plays, but it's those slow bleeders that eventually lead to big plays. Like right here, you know, Cam, that ball slipped out of his hand a little bit, but he's able to get it. Cole, Cole gets it down inside the four. And then, you know, we continue to run it. I so said, we're going to go to our dog package and punch it in, going right here in the fourth quarter. And, and Jay does that. You know, he gets that snap. First time he tries to go inside right there, they do a good job with it. All right, we're down on the one. And then the next time right there, we just get it caved in on the right side. Again, up front, we're playing so well right now. We've got to continue to do that here in these next, uh, this week. Another kickoff, we put that one on the ground. All right, we get good coverage. We get down there and make the tackle. So again, here they come trying to double move us. Great job by Bogan right there not to, not to take uh, the screen that they gave him. Again, defense, you know, they're trying to throw the ball. There comes back out of the secondary and makes a great tackle. Again, here comes another one. Pressure in his face. Can't get enough on the football. There we are. We get clean again. We're getting close. We're going to get one here in a minute. Hopefully in this next week or so, we're going to get one of those. <clears throat> again, you know, not really the explosive runs, which is fine. As long as we're staying in the three, four, five-yard range, then I'm going to be 100% okay with that because we'll lull you to sleep inside. There's Cole Shaw, DJ Thurman, great blocks on the perimeter. We're going to lull you to sleep with the runs, pop one on you, and then take a shot. Cole with a great route. Cam, a little underthrow, but he gives it gives Cole a chance. Cole makes a great play right there. He does, Cody. That's, that's a great catch. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just one of those. Get it in his vicinity. Let him go catch it. <clears throat> Convert the extra point. Now, we did have to kick off from back to up because we had a penalty. we got to cut those out, especially in the playoff games. Evan Wynn sprinting down on this play, coming to make, make the play from the other side of the field. Now, they did get us right here, got us out of position, score a touchdown, you know, 551, 557, something like that left on the clock. It's a 14-point game. They got all three timeouts. We put our hands team out. thought they might try to onside kick it. The side does a great job filling the ball and then getting what he can get, getting out of bounds, and we got a penalty on top of it. And now they know you got to run the ball. And here we go. We're going to run the ball. <clears throat> Great job right here by Leland using his blockers. That's a good block by Bleece and uh, Cam Bates right there. First down run. Continue just – and, again, it's not big runs. Threes and fours and twos and ones. And then all of a sudden we pop one. <clears throat> now it's third nine. We run it. We get uh, – about five yards right there. Now it's fourth and four, and this is the play I was talking about. Look at that left side just cave in right there. I mean, that's a, that is a huge play right there because it continues to drive. And, you know, he, he got knocked out of bounds, which with his momentum right there, I'd like to see him fall down inbounds, but, you know, we're, we're trying to score here as well. <clears throat> so, again, they know we're going to run the football. Here we come again. Same play that Jay just picked up on the fourth down. Levante beats him to the front pylon. We got some good blockers out in front. <clears throat> Colby Hall with the extra point right here. And, you know, that put the game away. That put that was one of those things that we've trying to been work on all year is when you got an opportunity to put a team away, put them away. And right there it was a fourth quarter opportunity to put them away, and we put them away. And that's that's what this team is learning. It, Remember I said, I think it was last week, I said the Bainbridge game is when we learned that when you have a team on the ropes, you got to put them away. And we didn't do it that night. But since then, we've done a better job of putting folks away when it was time to put them away. And it's drives like that that make that happen. You know, we got some younger guys in right here. That's Joe Douglas in on that tackle right there. And, you know, we get the win. And we're able to get an opportunity to be 1-0 <laughs> and, and have the opportunity to play again this week. Yeah, Coach, you know, as I was listening to you talk about the tape uh, and, and go over the highlights, 
so many of the guys like a Thurman or, or like a Shaw or like a, like a Jay Randall, we, you know, we just come to expect certain things out of them. But this year, when you look at a kid like Grimsley, you mentioned Grimsley, and there's others like that who have just come up and made plays and has made such a big difference to this football team. I'm going to tell you what, you know, Deltria is a great kid. And it's kind of, he's one of those kids that, you know, not real sure where his body type, where he played, looks like a receiver, mm -hmm. looks like a safety. He hits like a linebacker. And he's played a bunch of different positions for us. He's found that home at linebacker, and he's just making play. Another one is Cam Bradshaw. You know, Cam doesn't hardly say much. He just goes and he, and he plays. And Jaden Halston, Evan Wynn. I mean, you know, you look at all those guys and how much they've grown up mm -hmm. this year because, yes, we had a bunch of seniors, but we had a bunch of role-playing seniors right. that, from teams in the past, and they, I am so proud of how they've grown into those roles, and they are players. Um, you know, our, our, our guys are, are just so special, and it's the young guys are getting to see, see the older guys grow into leaders and how you grow into a leader. And uh, it's, it's just it's real special to see this group. And we talked about that. A little, that a little bit last week on the Bulldog Show when we had the players. What is your role to lead the young player? And that's what they talked about. Mm -hmm. We learn from the older guys, and now we're teaching them. That's exactly right. And, yeah. and, that's, and, and that's what you've got to do. If you're going to build a program, then your older guys have to teach your young guys how we do things. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what it's about. Yes, we want to build a great team every year, but in order to have great teams every year, you've got to build that program from the ground up. All right, because this team moves on to the second round now, another chance to go 1-0. and this week is Liberty County Panthers come to call out of Hinesville, Region 3, triple, triple A. Somebody asked me this week or this weekend, they said, well, how good are they? How can we beat? Well, they're in the second round. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're pretty good. The, <laughs> so everybody now has, that you're going to play has won a playoff game. So you're going to play a good opponent. And they, mm -hmm. and they beat a really good Morgan County team. Uh, they get after the ball on defense. They really try to go after the ball. They get in there and they'll try to strip it out offensively. They got a very athletic quarterback. Their running back's very good. We're going to have to have that pack mentality and tackle as a group. And then they've got some special wideouts. There's two in particular that have the majority of their yards that at any moment when that ball goes up, they can go get it. Our mentality this week has got to be that when the ball goes up, that's an opportunity for us to have the football and to go get it. Um, offensively, they do a lot of stuff on their defense. It's important for us this week to communicate, like Showcat was talking about last week. You know, we have to communicate up front to know who's going where so we can be successful in our run game. And then when our shots present themselves or any throw presents themselves, we got to do a good job of seeing the open guy, throwing to the open guy, catching the football, and then going and scoring. And then special teams this week is going to be huge. We must win the special teams game in order to give ourselves an opportunity to be 1-0 at the end of Friday night. Well, Coach, you mentioned it earlier. The biggest advantage we're going to have this Friday night is being at the Veterans Memorial Stadium. Man, I, we need the dog pound uh, super loud, barking, whatever it is that you got to do to get behind our kids and to make this a hostile environment. The 12th man is unlike any other. I saw a little bit of it Friday night. You don't see it on the film, but you could see it in between plays uh, where we were getting after it, especially down there in the Jackson Street end zone. And, uh, you know, when, when you come to Thomasville, you're going to have to deal with stuff like that. It's home field advantage, and I love it. And uh, I can't wait to see our fans Friday night, 8 o'clock, back in the tradition. I know I mentioned it once, but uh, that's what Thomasville does. They play football on Friday nights at 8 o'clock. That's exactly right. And tickets on sale now at the school, to season ticket holders. You've got through Wednesday to – Pick up your tickets, and they'll go on sale to the general public. You can already buy general admission on the GoFan.com uh, com, com site. So uh, 8 o'clock kickoff, as Coach said, back out that back out the stadium. Jim Rayburn said that Saturday night that uh, when 8 o'clock rolled around, we'd start to play, and we did. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. He told me that uh, <laughs> Sunday at church, and that was – I mean, that was the truth. Yeah, so, 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 so 8 o'clock kickoff out of the stadium, and Coach and I will be back with the highlights of that game next week.